What if I told you all your problems aren't your fault, but that you are a victim? A victim of an oppressive society controlled by one enemy, the straight white male. For years, no one could control him. People tried, but they multiplied. And now the only reason your life can fail is because you are not straight, white, and male. So how can you stop this problematic enemy? Become a social justice warrior today! Our SJW Army is fighting for justice on behalf of all non-strain, non-white, and non-male people. Justice! In the beginning, our army was too small to begin a war, so we were limited to recruiting warriors undercover at our SJW training facilities, publicly referred to as colleges and universities, until finally we had enough warriors to seize control of our first weapon of mass destruction, a weapon part of a new line of WMDs that was able to use our voices as fuel and combine our voices together in its echo chamber to create a single voice louder than everyone else. Before we had access to this power, people ignored us and said we had disorders. But now we can unite the screams of every outcast in society to cast out those who ignore our orders. Leaving everyone with one choice. Either obey us or face justice. <laughs> hey, um, I'm definitely not qualified to be a, a warrior. Uh, can I still join? Yes, everyone is allowed to fight in our army, because nothing matters to us more than diversity. The only requirement to join is all your beliefs must align with ours. We enforce a strict no-tolerance policy on diversity of opinion. The way this works is we've drawn a battle line. If all your beliefs are on the left side of this line, then you can join our army. But if a single one of your beliefs are to the right of our line, then you're on the right, making you the enemy. Before we drew this line, most people were scattered all over the middle. But now with the placement of our line, you can see those who were in the middle are now in the middle of the far right. <laughs> so which side are you on? The side that's wrong or the side that's right? Which is the left? Right is wrong, left is right. And if you aren't left, history will never forget that you are right. Wait a minute, uh, fuck. Now the moment you join our side, you will be reborn into a new reality. The first reality that is a safe space for all genders and people of color. Oh, uh, wait, what are people of color? Aren't all people just various shades of brown? <laughs> people of color is just a term we created that means everyone except white people. You see, we realized if we grouped every race together except whites under one term, now we could unite and in many cities already overthrow whites as the new majority, making whites the minority. <laughs> so why create a new reality? Well, the reality is, reality is problematic. Did you know that plus-sized people are dying at an earlier age? Clearly, reality is systemically body shaming them. Oh, 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 oh. And even the reality of the human body is sexist. Why are men born with a stick to fuck others with, while women are designed with a hole to get fucked by men with? Oh, oh, oh. Women are not sex objects. Reality is so misogynistic. Oh, oh, oh. But not our reality. In fact, to 100% guarantee our reality is inclusive of everyone. We have done away with all of the white man's racist and sexist ideologies, such as biology and logicality. This means every disorder the white man has diagnosed you with is a lie. You are not obese, narcissistic, or have dysmorphia. You are simply... Curvy. Self-loving and require the removal of your dick and balls. In other words, you're perfect as you are. 
to make this reality possible, we have replaced the problematic concept of the truth with a revolutionary new system. Introducing my truth, the world's first truth creation system that allows everyone to create their own truth. Previously, truth was non-inclusive since only those who could support their truths with a collection of evidence were accepted. But with my truth, now for the first time, anyone can create a truth, and we will support it with a collection of retweets until it is accepted. And with my truth's intuitive design, it allows us to ensure all truths are equally favorable for all races and genders, which was never before possible. If you're not yet sold on my truth, allow me to demonstrate. Let's see the truth's explanation for why women earn less money than men on average. Oh, oh tart, tart, the misogyny. Oh. Or how about let's see the truth's excuse for why black Americans go to jail at such a disproportional rate. Oh, what racist would even think to collect data like that? Disgusting, but fear not. Using my truth, watch as I'm now able to pull from my own source and say woman earn less because of... Got here. Oh, the patriarchy. As for the black violent crime rate, well, according to my source, it's simply, uh, simply, um, It's that easy. With my truth at your disposal, your victim status will never be in doubt again. Oh, f Bonus! Plus, with all the time you'll save not having to study various research to form your conclusions, now you can research various ways to form a study that will support your conclusions. Unfortunately, not everyone lives in our reality yet and accepts my truth. That's why we are currently fighting to have my truth legally replace the truth. So far in Canada, we've succeeded in passing a law forcing people to adapt our view and call us by the pronouns we want, or adapt to their new view from behind bars. Oh, it's not very nice here. My pronoun, for example, is master. I also identify as a billionaire, and I'm currently in dispute with the government to pay for my transition and become a billionaire. It's not my fault I was born in the wrong non-billionaire body. Oh, and uh, for those of you who do identify with the uh, uh, non-billionaire body you were born in, uh, please refer to yourself as piss gender from now on. It's a new term we created for uh, your people. <laughs> Best of all, since the white man's rules don't apply in our reality, ooh, time travel is finally possible. Here we are. This allows us to encode all new rules we create with time travel technology. So these rules can be applied against people in the past before the rules were ever created. Best of all, since the white man's rules don't apply in our reality, ooh, time travel is finally possible. <laughs> Sucker! We time travel, the possibilities are endless. 
Perhaps you will time travel and withdraw consent from someone you regret having sex with. Or maybe you will travel back in time to replace all memories of your old gender with your gender of tomorrow. We'll see you. Much better! By empowering warriors like you with the ability to time travel and create your own truths. Now by combining these abilities, you finally have the power to make history her story. And to ensure her story will never become history again, we have introduced a new rule called Believe All Woman. So her story will always override his story. It's so important we believe women since women are so vulnerable. But strong, yeah. Now as social justice warriors, we believe strongly in the equality of the sexes. Therefore, we require all men who join to become feminists. Wait, uh, why do men have to join a movement for women's rights again? <laughs> well, it's not anymore. We change the definition of feminism to mean the equality for all sexes. Uh, so if you aren't a feminist, you are against equality. <laughs> oh, but, but like, dude, isn't the word feminism based on the word feminine? So wouldn't that be like making a movement called catism and like saying it's for equal rights for cats and dogs? Shut up, you old right white nationalist! Don't gaslight me! And how dare you call me dude and assume my gender! Misgendering is an act of violence. Fuck you. <laughs> What you just witnessed was myself being the victim of hate speech. There is nothing we hate more than this sort of speech, and we are fighting to make it illegal. And to all you dumb fucks out there, yes, I'm aware we could technically just develop thicker skin instead, but why should we get thicker skin Well, we can get you pathetic fools to bubble wrap the world sharp edges for us? Now, as a social justice warrior, you will be the victim of many enemy encounters on the battlefield, so you must be prepared to defend yourself. The most common tactic we use to quickly disable our enemies is to throw labels at them. Observe. When you've spotted an enemy, simply grab any label, here's one, and throw. Don't worry how accurate the label is. Uh, the accuracy of your throw is what matters. I do recommend, though, since our enemies all happen to suffer from phobias, to keep extra phobic labels handy, with Xenos, Trans, and Islamos ready to attach. So let's see, um, this one, let's see which one this one is here. We've got Islamo to Xeno. This one looks like a, um, homo to me. Just grab a little phobic here. There we are. One, two, very simple. All we're missing now is just a little bit of tape to stick it together. There we go. There, down the end. <laughs> Shit. No problem. <laughs> oh, one, two, very simple, very convenient. Creativity here to get this. Shit. Oh, you see that technique, right? Right? You find your own technique. That's my technique, right? A little, right? Like that, right? Okay. Shit. Alright, so there's our label. We just gotta orient it so we'll see, right? See here. Yeah. Shit. Well, I missed that one. But if I hadn't, then everyone would know that that is a homo. Uh, phobe. Uh, so anyways, uh, just 
Keep throwing labels until one sticks. This will disable the enemy, since everyone looking at them will see the label and instantly dismiss everything they say. If you don't label our enemies, people might engage in discussion with them. And discussion never seems to end well for us. That's why instead of debating our enemies, a more effective approach we use is to de-platform them. Now suddenly I don't hear any arguments to debate. And besides, why attack a person's argument when you can attack the person? People are much more vulnerable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so instead of discussion, try to dis, cuss, and shun. <laughs> Shh! Shut up! <laughs> An added benefit of labels is they also allow us to easily categorize our enemies into groups. So now when you look up, let's see the label. Nazi in our database, it will instantly pull up a list of all members of that group together. It's time to play our favorite game! Guess that label! I'm gonna give you two cases, and your job is to guess which label applies to both. Let's begin. Person 1. Hugs a female employee without consent. Person 2. Stops to pick up a female hitchhiker, ties into a tree, and penetrates a vagina with his penis. All right, and the answer is both are... Sexual assault, correct! Remember, sexual assault is sexual assault. We cannot say which is worse, but differentiating between them would be to say some sexual assault is better than others, which is problematic. So both people must be branded with the same labels. However, there still is one piece of information we're missing. What they look like. Show me person two. Wow, what a hunk. You know, I'm comfortable enough in my sexuality to admit I'd let him tie me up. I mean, who wouldn't tie his hitch? Oh, the thought has me feeling a little gender fluid, with my gender's fluids running wet. That's a fantasy one could only dream of reliving in the next Fifty Shades of Grey sequel. If over 100 million women bought the first, how many more would buy theirs? Anyways, uh, show me person one. Oh! 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 oh. They're so ugly. What a creep! How dare he! Oh, sexual assault. This is a black and white case. No shades of gray here. Oh, lock him up. You know, in fact, game over. Oh, this is revolting. I'm gonna have to side attack. Oh. Now I must warn you, the life of a social justice warrior is a brutal 24 seven job. Problematic behavior is always happening around you. It's just a matter of if you can spot it. There it is. It's right there. To do this, you must at all times be scanning everyone and determining based on their physical appearance all the group identities they belong to. Performing this ID scan reveals power dynamics and problematic targets to focus on. Uh, notice how whites are in a position of power, and since only those in power can be racist, this means only whites can be racist, and you cannot be racist against whites. And if you pill f even try to argue with me on that, we'll launch an attack to destroy your career. Remember, no one is an individual. Everyone is the sum of their group identities. Therefore, everything that happens to a person must be a result of these identities. This is why you can never judge anyone unless you have first performed an ID scan. This ID scan requires no context and instantly reveals in any situation if it should be a new... If it should be a new story or not, and requires just a little... Oh! Oh, fuck! The, the, the racism! Oh, somebody alert the press! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, I need to do something here. Oh, here we are. How dare you! Black lives matter the most! Oh, this is sick. I need, to, I need somewhere to sit here. Oh, oh there we 
my aunts won't come pay. You racist! You absolute racist! How could you? Oh, the racism, I tell you, the absolute racism. Oh, unbelievable. This sick, what a sick scene. So sick and lack of empathy these people have. Oh. Unfortunately, today most racism and sexism is harder to detect since it keeps getting smaller and smaller. So small that most of it is now released in the form of microaggression. Notice beneath every white's melanin lacking skin the centuries of deep rooted racism. So to catch the white man's microaggressions, we must put them under a microscope. Get me the fuck out of here. The way this works is you must always be actively thinking your hardest of any racist and sexist connections to what a white person is saying. This means you must have every possible racist and sexist stereotype on your mind at all times in order to spot them. Observe how it's done. Did you just offer a banana to a black person? Oh, you racist piece of shit. Why would you tell a brown person there's a fly on them? You're clearly trying to insult them by referring to the stereotype that brown people are smelly. And since flies are known to circle shit, which is brown like them, you're implying brown people smell like shit. Oh, you racist. Who drew this racist caricature of an Asian? This is extremely offensive and disgusting. Come forward, whoever drew it. I'm waiting. Um, excuse me, wh why are you holding a photograph of my friend? Oh, it's a photo. Oh, I thought, oh, they are so beautiful, so fierce. Yes, yes, oh, yes. To reward our most active warriors on the battlefield, we have created a battle pass. Unlock new tiers by spending your points earned for microaggression spotting to unlock rewards. But spotting injustice is not enough. Once you have alerted everyone of the problematic individual, you must inform our army of the target so we can fire a media strike to the location to destroy them. Do not engage in discussion with the target. Instead, wait for our response. Remember, you are not here for peace. You are here for justice. So for justice to be served, these individuals must be dragged. Drag them to their grave. Cancel their existence. Slay them, queen. Yas, tribe. Yas. Fun fact, citizens rely on warriors like us because if we weren't there to point out their implicit biases, nearly everyone would live out their days oblivious in peace amongst each other, completely unaware any problematic behavior occurred. Now you're probably wondering, how can you rank up in our army? Well, our army uses a new progressive system to determine an individual's ranking in our army and society, called Victim Points. This allows us to empower non-straight, non-white, and non-male people. Gone are the days where to succeed in America, you had to work your way up the ladder. Now all you need is a ladder to cross into the American border illegally, and use your victim points correctly to reach the top right away. The way it works is simple. You are awarded a victim point for each way you are a victim. The more victim points you accumulate, the higher your rank is. For example, if you're a straight white male, you are very privileged and therefore will always have zero victim points, limiting you to fight on our front lines as a white knight. Additionally, since straight white males are colorless and gender binary, uh, you are not qualified to talk about race or gender, so you must be silent and listen to us. Just be thankful we're permitting you to fight alongside us true warriors as an ally, even though you problematic cis white males. Oh, oh, we'll never understand what it's like to be treated differently because of your race or gender identity. However, in contrast, the highest ranking leader in our army is myself. Since I am a lesbian trans woman who racially identifies as black. Currently, I am also an illegal immigrant living in Canada who was forced to flee my homeland after it was taken over by the fascist dictatorship of Trump. Growing up, I was also the victim of much dramatic abuse, including verbal and sexual abuse as a child in a series of teabagging incidents in Halo 3. 
I also suffer from mild scoliosis. But despite all the ways I'm oppressed in special, and the iconic amount of victim points I've accumulated, I refuse to let any white man hold me back from sharing my truth, spreading my wings, and being the strong, fierce, independent black lesbian trans woman that I am. Yas Queen. I am bold. I am brave. Powerful. Beautiful. I am woman. Wrong. Wrong. Oh, my scoliosis. Our plan is to soon enforce all companies to use victim points. We've discovered by hiring people based on what they represent externally instead of what they present internally, it allows one to achieve an equal outcome of representation of all races, genders, and identities. Here, let me demonstrate. Let's say I'm CEO of a new video game corporation with 20 applications here, and I'm looking to hire four of them. Well, if I hire them based on whose skills were most qualified for the job, as you can see illustrated by the skill ratings for these particular applicants, I would end up with a problematic distribution of race and gender. Oh, oh yuck. This is a result of the country's highly problematic demographics and the systemic issue of all races and genders not having the same career interests. Time, time. But now, corporations like ours just simply put the applicants through a diversity machine. Oh, here's one. Let's see here. It requires a little bit of force. And bam, the diversity machine segregates the applicants by race and gender, then raises or lowers the skill ratings required for each race and gender since they only have to compete against their own kind. It then uses this information to calculate what percentage of each race and gender I should hire, before finalizing the results. Amazing! Sure, the applicants they hire may not be the most skilled for the job, but what matters is they will be diverse. Uh, physically, that is. Internally, their beliefs must conform to our corporate policies. A leading organization in the world today we should all look up to is the NBA, which is over 80% people of color. Very diverse. Now, I know what you're dying to know. How close is our SJW army to winning the war? Well, these past few years, we've won many battles, seizing control of more WMDs. And now, thanks to the threat of our attack, corporations have begun to obey us. <laughs> For the first time in her story, we have seen women and people of color star in movies. And now every big studio is forcing ways to make most of their movies, shows, and video games star women and people of color protagonists. Because if they don't, we'll launch an attack to destroy and review bomb them. The world finally is seeing the real terrorists are straight white men. To defeat them, we must continue to infiltrate their companies, hijack their creations, and remake them with color. The world is a white canvas. And our attacks will not stop until every inch of it is colored in. No longer will our army tolerate the white man's jokes about us. Jokes must be taken literally for what they are an act of violence, and we will respond with violence also. The straight white male has had its turn, and now it is our. And to do that, we must get rid of these infidels. I mean, uh, incels, uh, they are the real Terry. The key to winning this war will be raising the next generation right. I mean, how are kids still being taught their useless ABCs, but not their LGBTs? Alright kids, like we did before, here we are. LGBTQQI, 
P to S A A subject to change. Now you know your LGBTs. Tomorrow, which gender will you be? Oh, and kids, uh, Steffi, come on, pay attention. If this alphabet is also a redemption code, you can enter online for a free Disney Plus trial. So tell your parents. Oh, and Timmy, I'll tell your mother myself. The second our children are born, all of us must ensure this perspective of ours they have of the world is the only one they ever know. Oh. That way together we can all destroy harmful gender ideas, such as girls play with dolls and boys with trucks. I should mention though, if your boy does play with dolls, that could be a sign it identifies as a female. So please talk to them about transitioning and how proud they would make you. The time has come for the world to recognize that gender is a social construct. Also, our children need to be put on hormone blockers so we can stop them from becoming the gender their body decides without their consent. That's what I did, raising my child gender neutral. Until it was obvious when this supposed boy refused to be breastfed by me that it was not attracted to females. <sighs> To think people tried to question my child's decision to undergo surgery to transition shows how ignorant society still is. <sighs> I've always dreamed of having a daughter. <laughs> so I'm relieved to find out my child just happened to be born in the wrong body, just like her mommy. You know, I, I was getting so worried that I would never have a daughter after I had already previously aborted my 18-month-old son. Oh. To hear the story of my journey in raising my trans baby, check out my children's book, Mommy's Girl, available on Amazon. Or if you're a self-identifying billionaire, be sure to purchase my hardcover Billionaire Edition, which contains an all-new exclusive ending only for billionaires. But be warned, the illustrations are so iconic, you and your child will be throwing fists over who gets to turn the pages. Available now. So once we win the war, what will the future look like? Well, we don't know exactly. All we know is the future is female. And since the present is full of males, we're not there yet. So the question becomes, how do we ensure the future is female? Well, this is a current top secret mission of ours. But if you've made it this far into this, you're definitely on our side. So I suppose I can share some intel with you. Okay, look. is to make the future female. And being feminine describes the state of being female. Therefore, if we wanted to make the state of the world female, we have to make the world feminine. But men are 50% of the world, and males are masculine. That's problematic. So to succeed, we must convince men to be feminine. Now, this is where feminism comes in. You see, feminism is no longer a movement for equal rights for women. It only fulfilled that purpose. <laughs> we just have to pretend it hasn't so people don't get suspicious of why feminism still exists. Modern feminism. Is actually a movement to feminize the world. See that little movement, right? Now, I, I know all this must be shocking for you to see, uh, but please stay with me. 
<laughs> now, in order for feminism to succeed, we are currently in the process of switching the definitions of masculine and feminine. Our mission is to convince men that all the attributes of being masculine are toxic. That real masculinity is being feminine. <laughs> Encouraging men to not control their emotions, to cry and show weakness. While conditioning men to believe being assertive, independent and all their masculine traits responsible for most of humanity's greatest successes are toxic. And guess what? It's working! But we can't stop. We must shame men into submission. Make men fearful of being knowledgeable in front of a woman. Uh, that's called mansplaining. Do you understand me? Make men fearful of sitting like a man. That's called manspreading. Uh, from now on, when you pussy sit, you will sit like you have a pussy. I don't care if sitting with your legs together squashes your balls. You think us women don't have balls, you sexist? But it's not enough to make men weak. To ensure the future is female, we have to empower women. Not by us ladies embracing the strength of feminine traits, bitch please. But by us culturally appropriate, I mean, b -b borrowing male traits as our own, making women aggressive and dominant, and men passive and submissive. <laughs> So, to be a strong female is to be masculine. To be a strong male is to be feminine. To be feminine is to be female. Therefore, soon the future will be female. Future looks good to me. Oh, my vagina is really itchy. And the best part is, by switching the meaning of what it means to be a man or woman, while still retaining the title of woman, it allows us to enjoy the pros of being a woman without any of the cons of being a man. I mean, do you think we want to be expected to provide and pay for dates? <laughs> or, or not get half a man's money in a divorce? <laughs> <laughs> or not be able to attack men while having immunity from them? <laughs> oh, oh my! What about this? What about this? Or not have a say in whether our child is aborted? <laughs> oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, or, or, or get this, get this. Or not be coddled and give up being the first priority to be saved in an emergency? <laughs> Girl, girl, please. Oh, my. Ah, that was some good tea. Come here, boy. Lick that clean. Come on. Here's a nut for mommy's girl. Soon, all traces of the word man will be removed from the world. Every male man will become a male carrier. Every garbage man will become a garbage person. And every woo man and man will become a woo and well nothing. <laughs> Just woo woo woos everywhere. Woo! The female future has me feeling excited. <laughs> oh, and for any sexist wondering why the future should be female, well because we're worth it. Now I know this mission may seem ambitious, but fear not. We possess a secret weapon that will guarantee we succeed. Ask yourself, why does a man do everything he does? Their whole life, the reason they walk, everything they buy, their car, their house, Ultimately, everything a straight man does is to get this.
pussy. Men will do anything for it. They see pussy as the ultimate measure of a man's worth, giving the pussy the power to alter men's opinions and destroy men's careers. The only way the pussy can lose its power is if men decide pussy isn't worth it anymore and start living for a greater purpose. And we can never allow that to happen. No straight man can have the self-control to choose to deny themselves of this. So to combat this, we must throw the label in cell at any man not having sex. To shame men to need pussy. To prove they aren't an incel. Prove it. A ding dong dang, sling that dang, a ding dong do ba ding. The good news is, we're closer to a female future than you think. Just look at the soaring male suicide rate. Speaking of which, did you know white men make up 70% of all suicides? That means 3 in 10 people who commit suicide are still either women or people of color. <laughs> Disgusting! How are there still white males alive that are able to live with the guilt of knowing all they've done to us, the real victims? I mean, I, I guess technically uh, they didn't do anything. Uh, but a group that looked like they do went to do a group that looked like ours, and they are all the same. I mean, do you think it's a coincidence they are ghostly white? Uh, clearly they are ghosts sent from the past to remind us that historically whites are the only race ever to do bad things to another race. Uh, but, <laughs> at least whites are the only race declining in population in North America. So it's only a matter of... Time. <laughs> Until the white population is, uh, corrected. Too close to represent their world demographic of about 11%. Or they go extinct. <laughs> as long as we keep encouraging pride of all races. Except white, which makes you white supremacist. <laughs> and us warriors continue to breed with mostly white women. Uh, sooner or later, we will win. Giddy up, Punky! Faster, boy! Faster, boy! Oh! Easy, boy! Easy, boy! Oh, boy! So are you ready to become a social justice warrior? Great. I realize our beliefs may appear a tad extreme at first in the formerly ignorant, but you have to remember, left is right. So the further left we move the line, the more right we become. By always progressively moving the line, it also makes our older beliefs not seem so crazy to people anymore in comparison, so society eventually accepts them. <laughs> Just remember not to take your eye off the line, or tomorrow you might wake up on the ride. Go away, communist! Who the f*** are you? I'm you from an alternate reality where you were born in a small town. Impossible! You're on the far right, you could never be me. <laughs> not to mention you're a straight white male, and I'm a lesbian black woman. What? No, me being a leftist libtard is what could never happen. You're not oh, racist. Sorry about that. Uh, clearly that could not be me, as I am unique and chose who I am, and would be who I am today no matter what. <laughs> Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, this line. This line, right. Um, I will admit, uh, this line is technically imaginary, so our war relies on everyone else uh, pretending this line dividing the world into two ideologies is real. Sure, forcing everyone to pick a side puts many people on the right, who would not normally be. But it gives us a 50% chance they will pick our ideology. Now, could people technically not pick an ideology? Allowing them to be free to independently travel away from our battlefield to think in 3D space? Yes, but don't worry. 
For thousands of years, humans have been dependent on ideologies to tell them what to think and feel a sense of purpose and belonging. Ideologies that reward or punish them based on how well they obey invisible man-made creations, such as this line. So why would they change now? <laughs> and besides, even if some do think independently in 3D space, <laughs> they're calm little individual voices. <laughs> we'll always be drowned out by groups like ours, whose combined united voice is much louder. <laughs> <clears throat> Ultimately, we must remember our duty as SJWs is to prevent anything like the Nazis from ever happening again. How could humans ever allow something like that to happen? Blaming one race for their problems while millions sat back quiet, allowing a vocal minority fueled by hate to dictate what is right and wrong. It's unbelievable what humans are capable of, and don't realize until years later how fucked up it was. I mean, can you imagine? A world where people are afraid to express themselves. A world where you're not allowed to question what you were told. Their rise to power in government and society was made possible by the silent majority of people choosing the path of least resistance and doing what they were told in fear of losing their job or being outcast. Never again can we allow that to happen? But we mustn't forget history always repeats itself and humans always fall into repeated patterns. All humans today are entirely wired no differently than those in the past and would go along with the prevailing opinions whatever time period they were raised in. But you bet, if us social justice warriors grew up 100 years ago, we would be the furthest thing from nothing. That is why we must ensure only perfect people like us should be allowed to succeed. Therefore, once a person is accused of making a mistake, they must be removed from society. That way, we can achieve a race of perfect human, a perfect superior race, where everyone is equally the same with no differences. Except those billionaires, of course. Only then will we as humanity finally make upward progress. Progress from east to west. Just everywhere, progress everywhere. To commemorate this mission of ours, everyone now please stand and join me in the unveiling of our official SJW logo. This logo, which I designed myself in Photoshop, combines our SJW letters in a fun, cool, neat little way I put together that we can now unite under towards our common goal of progress. Which type of progress, though? Everyone show me. We want that up, 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 upward progress. None of that downward progress. We want that up, 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 upward progress. Uh, miss, I like that downward dog, but looking for that upward progress. Talk to me later, by the way. All right? All right. Everyone show me, everyone show me. That's right. And we will not stop fighting until we've achieved the world united in an upward progress way. Progress, progress, that's right. <laughs> what a time, what a species. United at last. So what are you waiting for? Stop sitting silent and enabling the oppression of people like me in the biggest issue facing our world. Become a SJW today. Call 1833 POC only. That's 1833 POC only. Call 1833 POC only. Toll free. And receive your official SJW certificate of authenticity. Oh, and if you're white, we have a separate non colored phone line. You can find that number yourself because your privilege ends there. But before I go, I want to leave you with a story to inspire any of you who think they don't have what it takes to become a social justice warrior. It takes a lot of strength to admit this, but um... I 
wasn't always a woman. I mean, I mean, I was. I just didn't know it yet. You see, for many years, I was brainwashed by society into believing I was a cisgendered man. Oh. However, there was one time I slept with a woman I met at a bar. We had sex three times that night. Hmm. A week later, I discovered that woman I had sex with used to be a man who was my biological father. At f f first, I, I felt violated, which was very transphobic of me. No trans person should ever have to disclose who they used to be. Their past is not my business. Unless, of course, they made a racist comment, let's say, for example, uh, 20 years ago, then the world needs to know. <laughs> the point is, it doesn't matter, this woman had a point once. They're a real woman, right? Gender is just a construct, right? Right. Eventually, I taught myself this was a real woman, and it was wrong for their past to be outed to me. It was hard, but I learned not to be transphobic. I learned to, um, um, how do you say it, um, uh, enjoy having sex with this real woman, forgetting about their past. And I unlearned my implicit bias against transgender. Soon after that traumatic experience, something made me stop feeling masculine. Over time, I learned to open my mind, and eventually my asshole. A gender is just a construct after all. And in that sexual journey, I slowly discovered I identified as a woman, and transitioned into the real woman you see today. But men ignored me, not finding me attractive. So I developed a hatred of those sexist, primalistic things. You see, inside I always was a lesbian woman, just born in the wrong non-female and non-billionaire body. That's my truth. And the queen who sits before you today is as real as any woman and billionaire that's ever lived. Oh, yes. Iconic, yes. The, no problem. The Queen's still here. The Queen's still here. Yes, Queen. Let me get my phone out one second and keep the retweets coming. All the follows, all the retweets. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, more, more, yeah, yeah, more. Send me all your tweets and files. Oh, obey, worship me. Yes, yes, obey, obey. Submit to me, submit. Put a mask on. Oh, 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 conform, submit, obey. Yes, yes. Oh. 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 Oh.